Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Adeptus Sororitas or Sisters of Battle Palatine model from Games Workshop. She's right here in this box for £21. Yeah, expensive. Uh, I think that she should only really be £18 for a single um, miniature. Yeah, I, I get that they are. Yeah, I get that they are single HQ minis in, in a single pose. But um, yeah, model this size, in my opinion, should be 18. Let's unbox her. This is really, really easy. I love unboxing these um, clamshells because they're super easy to uh, get into. Are you ready? There we are, just like that, and we're in. We're into the box. <laughs> now it, it, yeah, you just end up. Yeah, let's unbox it super fashion way. Um, and it's quicker and easier this way. Right, let's get into this. So 32 mil base, it's pretty nice. You get the um, get the sprue, and you get the. Oh, instruction manual, which is two pages long. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so, yeah, so page one, so parts one and two, three and four. And uh, you got a choice of a bolt pistol or a plasma pistol. Clearly, we're going to go for the plasma pistol, right? And you've got a different head option, helmeted or hair. I actually don't mind the, the uh, bare head one for this because she's got the little fleur de lis icon on, on there and the, the helmeted version looks a bit bare but that's because they haven't put the power plant on yet. I'm going to have a, a little go with, with both of them, see uh, see what's happening. She's got her beads, you know, she's got a prayer beads near, nearby so that's great. Um, this is the sprue itself then, very small, um, not many pieces. Um, 2021. Uh, this uh, little sprue was in the Dark Eldar and um, Sisters of Battle uh, box set uh, not that long ago, well, a couple of months, a few months ago. Uh, I didn't pick it up because I kind of knew that she would be available separately. Um, Lilith was available a few weeks ago as well. So finally we're getting her, um, which is fantastic. I can only hope and dream that they bring out the Techno Archaeologist, but you know, here's hoping. Um, that one, that kit is a uh, easy to build monopose model, so I doubt we'll uh, we'll get that one. But never mind. Um, yeah, so nice model, a fair amount of detail. Uh, you got some purity seal, some um, studded uh, cloak. She's got her beads there. Um, power plant. You have got the nice sword. Not much has been given. With the sword, maybe I would have preferred her holding the sword rather than the beads. But you've got the plasma pistol, you've got the helmeted head with the fleur de lis icon, that's quite nice. You've got her uh, head, bare head. I might go for the bare head for this one. Um, it's a good little uh, facial expression she's got going on. Um, yeah, so I might I might do that. Um, the the uh, powered armor looks great. Nice amount of detail. Still, Amalia and Avina is still the best uh, sisters of battle model that they've uh, produced in my opinion but there we go so that's the sprue for um, the palatine shouldn't take me any more than like 10 minutes to to put together and then i'll get a review out uh, for you because her new rules are separate they are uh, included in the new um sisters of battle uh codex right here um it's a very cheap uh hq unit uh, think of them as uh, little cheaper versions of the Canon S's. And um, instead of re-rolling um, uh, hits of a one, they re-roll uh, wounds of a one. They're a similar stat line to the Canon S, but uh, they have fewer attacks and fewer wounds. I'd probably say they're closer to lieutenants, uh, really. So there you go. That's my uh, first look at the Palatine. What do you guys think? Please do put your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.